I want to introduce you to Borges and Irmão Bank, which was designed by the Portuguese architect Alvaro Siza. The construction and design of this bank took place in two phases. The first phase of the design was in 1978 and in between 1982 and 1986 the building got actually built. The bank is located in a historic setting in the city of Vila do Conde in Portugal. Mr. Siza's creation drew a lot of attention in the world of architecture and as a result of this very successful and unique design he was awarded the 1988 Mies van der Rohe by the European Committee um, for his work on this bank. It is important to mention that the design of this bank is a direct response to the two historic landmarks that are adjacent to the building, the Martis Church and the Santa Clara Convent. Although the exterior does not give away too much of what's going on inside the building, yet there is a rotational characteristic that, that is presented and reinforced throughout the bank. The interior and the connecting staircase emphasizes this rotational quality um, apart from the more obvious uh, banking counter and the profile ceiling and the exterior end walls and the ramp. Even though the overall volumetric size of the bank is pretty much the same as the adjacent buildings, but the modernist, but its modern modernist look and the strong contrast between the large glazed areas and the solid areas makes this building stand out. There's an interesting interplay of solid and void and positive negative spaces. In addition to, in addition, this bank has three levels, and these these levels are interconnected through a continuous passage system which gives the clients and the bank employees easy access to both inside and outside of the bank. This movement combines with the mirroring of the form to redefine the public and private spaces. Moreover, the use of light in this building is one of the more remarkable aspects of it. The presence of the window next to the staircase illuminates this space and creates an almost mystical passage. <laughs>